Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today with a really interesting LED from Neural. So if you are looking for a LED that will light your scene, your setup to create content and you are on a budget and you want something that you can change color temperature, you can change the intensity and uh, it has already a built-in diffuser like this one right over here, this might be a great option. I will leave a link down below. I've been playing around with the Canon and also with my ZV-1 and I did achieve some really interesting things. Now, as you can see, we can do the test right over here live. This is the brightness and as you can see, it's really strong. But with the diffuser, it makes it really interesting because it's not as harsh as other um, LEDs that I do have and I do use on my daily basis. So this is an acceptable image. And as you can see, if I turn it around, uh, this will enrich even this lightning, which is not bad lit, it would enrich this setup. So it's, I do believe that it's a little bit better like this than not having the light at all. So this is what we can do. Now, if you ask me in terms of practicality, before we talk about specifications and things that it does, uh, I would say that if you don't have any good lightning on your overhead, I would suggest not only one, but two of these. I did test out right over here. With this one here, it does a great image, but when I do light that one over there, which is from a different brand, a lot more harsh, but it's far away, so it will feel the light, that would be the perfect setup. So I would say, if you don't have a good lightning, two of these will make your setup just look awesome. I also test out it with this light that I use to fill the image that I'm using right now without any other lightning condition. And uh, I believe that I can enrich using this. Of course, on my setup, it's not the best uh, scenario because I do have 30,000 lumens on this setup. If you didn't watch that video in the past, I will leave a link right over here so that you can check it out, how I did build everything right over here, but I don't use them all at the same time as you can imagine, and probably you have seen some images right over there, which is too much light. This new one right over here has 650 lumens. It will go from 3200 Kelvin up to 5000 600 Kelvin, which is awesome, and probably I've seen some images, but if I put it right over here, and if I go down on the camera, you will not see, but on my face, you will see from cooler, we can go all the way to warmer lights, and for those that want a different environment, then you can play around with this, which is really, really awesome. Also awesome is the battery that it has, a built-in battery of 4,000 milliamps, uh, which will give us roughly one hour and a half when we are using full blast 100%. And of course, we have the wheel right over here to adjust the uh, brightness, to adjust the color temperature, and we can also access the battery that we have left. One of my favorite things, and probably I've said this, is the diffuser. Usually LEDs have the lamps right over here, and they are really really harsh we will need a soft box or we will need some kind of diffuser and this one here and it's by the way completely cold uh, this diffuser is awesome because it will diffuse the light it's it's not too harsh on my face so now with the sony zv1 and the new led just to check out something i'm on the gym cinema setup area completely dark uh, I do have lights on my office right over there on my back, as you can see on that door, but that is it. And it's doing a great job. I really enjoyed the diffusion right over here because it's not direct like the others that I've got. And even it's being so close as it is right now, 30 centimeters or so, the light, although it's a bit harsh, is not too much harsh compared to the ones that I've got. Now, one thing that I would like to share with you is if I turn the light off, bam, there we go, completely dark. The camera is on full auto, so it will ramp up the ISO, which at this moment, 6,400, just too much. The image will be really bad quality, noisy, and so on and so forth. So this is the reason that we need good lightning. At this moment, sorry for that, but this is the camera adjusting to the new lightning conditions, and it's just normalizing the ISO 500, 400, 320, and it will reach 250, which is more or less the normal. Now we can adjust, of course, the intensity right over here. So we could go a little bit less, a little bit more. I'm 
pushing the 100% so that you can see that you could use this in a very dark environment. And of course, if you, if you prefer uh, a different tone of color, if you want warmer color, here we go. This is warmer and this is cooler. So as you can see right over there, I really enjoy the diffusion that this panel has. Completely off. And as I was saying a few moments ago, even though I only use these lights right over here, I do believe that this will enrich my scene. And this is 100%, I believe that it's too much, but we can play around with the intensity and as you can see, it will give a different scenario, a different color, it will feel complete. So great, great, great. I would suggest two of these if you don't have any light to fill. If you already have, then one of these will be more than enough. And of course, besides the usual scenario that we can use, I was using with the Sony ZV-1 and when I was recording, I was actually not grabbing the camera, I was grabbing the uh, LED itself, which is a nice setup as well. Probably I would suggest for this small camera, a smaller uh, setup to go on vlogging situations. But if you are on your fixed setup, like I am right now, then this makes total sense. Just put it on a tripod and you will have a great uh, LED light to light your scene. Finally, in terms of build quality, uh, it's nice. It's not the best plastic that we have seen on the world, but if I compare with some plastics that I see right over here on these great cameras, it's not too different. So not the best, not the worst, completely respectable. I would use it without any issues whatsoever and really, really light compared with other LEDs that I do have with more or less the same battery usage. These are really light and I love the fact that it has a built-in battery. Now, with external batteries, it has its advantages and disadvantages, but built-in, it's just easy. We just need to charge it and basically that is it. Power on, power off, select the kind of color temperature that we want, brightness and bam, here we go and start recording your content. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, right next to the link for the new LED that you might find interesting for your setup. And besides this kind of usage, if you want to have, of course, your LED uh, setup, but if you have a power outage, and which has already happened to me, what I do is I go here and grab my LEDs and take two to the home so that we can see what we are doing. So this is like an emergency light as well. It's great to have batteries built in because we have these advantages. Of course, this is not what it's meant. It's meant for recording, to create content, but of course we can use in a lot other scenarios. That being said, link down below, thumbs up if you can. Really appreciate it on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, today with the new LED. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.